crazy. Three years ago was when I picked up these mini Hazuki lanterns from Snow Peak. And these were our first campsite lights that we had for, I wanna say like the first several trips that we went on together. And for us, this little lantern here was pretty amazing because we were coming from a backpacking setup. So we were used to just using our headlamps to see and having a light inside our tent. I mean, that wasn't really something we had before. So this was pretty awesome to bring along with us. And slowly over time, we've added to our campsite lighting situation. And I've tried out quite a few different lanterns over the years and now, I've grown to fall in love with the whole nighttime ambience of camping. I mean, it's one of my favorite parts, just being out there after sunset, sitting around the fire and just having a well-lit tent and tarp set up. It's really an awesome feeling. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all the lighting that we've acquired over the years. Hopefully give you guys some ideas of some different lights to add to your setups as well. So stick around and let's get into it. All right, so here is the lights that started it all, the mini Hazuki. And to turn on and off the mini Hazuki, you just press down on the bottom and it slowly fades out. You also can use it within any of those settings in between to turn it on, just press down and hold. And it's just such a simple, minimalistic designed light. And I think that's what I like so much about this one. There's a magnetic hook up top and it's just really nice to hang around inside of your tent off of the hooks inside. It's also just really nice to just put around like ropes and just your tent poles. I found that I kind of put these things all over the place, but one of my favorite spots also to use it is just kind of like this, right on a tabletop surface. The warm glow it creates, it's just so nice, the ambience that it provides. And there's even a candle flickering mode, so if you double tap the button down there, you can rest it down and it kind of mimics a candle with the way it flickers. So it's kind of a cool feature. I don't really use it, but it is an option on the mini Hazukis. So this is also the AAA version right here, the original one. They now have a USB-C rechargeable battery option and that's the one I'd highly recommend. Battery life on this thing is really good. A weekend trip, you'll go no problem out there. But again, it just uses USB Type-C, so if you do need to recharge it, it's super easy to plug in. So highly recommend that. And you can also get different shades as well now. So they have a crystal shade for this one and it's super easy to pop on and off. It just kind of clicks right into place with it, just like the regular one. But with the crystal shade, it provides a totally different feel to the light overall and it disperses it a lot differently. So you can see down here, it creates this really cool geodesic pattern. And when you lift it up, it gives you this I guess crystal shade effect, that's exactly what it is. They come in a bunch of colors. Um, the original ones come in different colors than the rechargeables. But yeah, I highly recommend you know getting a few of them because you're gonna want these inside your tent. They're really convenient, like I said, to hang off of the hooks. And it's nice to have a couple outside within your campsite as well. All right, so the next lights that we picked up were the Bare Bones Forest Lantern and Beacon Lanterns. And this was basically me realizing, okay, I need to add a little bit more than the mini Hazukis. So keep in mind, we only had two of them at the time. So Bare Bones does a really good job of making vintage inspired lanterns and everything from the materials to the bulbs they're using, the performance, the batteries, everything has been really good about this company. And I think out of all the things they make, they make pans, I own those as well. They make some other accessories. I think their lighting is where they're at. I mean, they make some seriously nice lighting and the way that the whole finished product looks is, it's, it's really cool looking in my opinion and they've done a really good job where it's not you know, overstated and I think everything from the, the functionality to the buttons to the placement of everything, it's just a really nice light overall. But yeah, rotating the dial, you have quite a bit of adjustment here over the light to get it way bright if you want to light up an entire area or just dim it down to have some nice ambience. So yeah, it's a really nice light overall. Now charging this thing does take a while. It's not USB-C, at least this version isn't. I don't know if they've updated it since I've gotten mine, but yeah, it does take a while to charge, but it does last a long time as well. So there is a decent sized battery in here. And as you can see at the bottom here, you can unscrew it and replace the battery over time. So I've had mine a few years and I still am seeing really good battery life out of there. So definitely using good quality components in here. All right, so the Beacon Lantern here. Now, I really like this lantern. I like how compact it is. I like the metal carabiner here at the top. It's super clicky, has a nice twist dial at the top to adjust in multiple brightness settings throughout. It creates this really cool pattern when you put it down and when you lift it up. 
But my one problem with this lantern is it just doesn't last. After the first night, this one is usually dead, so I'll have to plug it in. It is cool actually that they've integrated the cable right into the top here. So you have a regular USB style cable that's kind of built into the, the light itself, which is neat. All right, so the next light is the Claymore Ultra Mini. And this is just like a really bright, you know, spot slash area light. The cool thing about this light is you have multiple different color options. So this is the warm it's on right now. If you double click the top button, you can change it to a cooler color and then all the way to a very whitish blue, very low Kelvin. So it's kind of neat that you can adjust the colors on here and there's a ton of different brightnesses. So if you press on and hold, this dials all the way down to dim and then you can crank this up to the point where it's really bright. So I got this one for, you know, working in a variety of situations and just needing to brighten up an entire area. This thing comes in handy. So if you really need to see what you're doing, it's nice to have something like this where all the LEDs are just facing straight out to where you're pointing. Similar to like a headlamp, but just bigger. All right, so the next light that I picked up was the regular Hazuki. This one has a power button on it as opposed to pressing down on the bottom, like the mini Hazuki. You also get a hook on this one with a string and you can adjust the height on it. So if you are hanging it inside your tent and you want to just keep it a little bit higher, you can lock it into place and it'll stay a little bit shorter. So that's kind of nice that it's adjustable. I use this primarily inside my tents. I also put it on my pile driver and my lantern hangers outside the tent. Um, it's just a really nice light. Now it's not the brightest light. It's not the most feature rich light. It's actually just a super minimalistic light, just like the mini Hazuki, but Again, that's that's why I really like it. And it's also worth mentioning that this one doesn't come with an integrated rechargeable battery. I'm hoping, Snow Peak, that that's something that we address here in the future. I wouldn't be surprised since the mini Hazukis now come with rechargeable batteries and USB Type-C. So I'm guessing that's gonna happen soon-ish. I don't know, hopefully. But yeah, as of right now, you have to buy a rechargeable battery pack separate. And that's how I've been going about it with mine. The plug for it's right at the top here. And yeah, you have this little silicone cover that'll keep it somewhat dry if it was to get a little rained on. The silicone here is removable and it also works with the crystal shade. So the next two lights I picked up were the Mini Flame and the Giga Power Autos. And I'm not gonna light them since I'm indoors right now, but yeah, these are both very nice lighting to have around the campsite. Now they have the new Nix as well, which puts out a much bigger flame. That one sold out last time I checked as of this video. But yeah, as soon as that one comes in, I do wanna pick one of those NYX lanterns up because it looks really cool and I do enjoy having a flame just for ambience out there. And this one, the Gigapower Auto, despite how small this thing is, it puts out some seriously bright light. I mean, you can dial this thing all the way back to have a nice just glow ambience or you can really brighten things up and have a full on you know, lantern experience with this tiny little lantern. Yeah, it has an auto night feature on this one as well, which comes in handy. Oh, I should also mention that with this one, there is no auto ignite feature. So you do have to actually put a lighter inside of here to get the flame to go on. But yeah, both of these lanterns, you know, I really enjoy them. These are two that always come along with me because again, they just help create that nice warm ambience at nighttime. And they also help like at least the mini flame, especially they also help finish off those fuel canisters that are just right at the bottom. And you don't really want to use it because you know, it's going to run out when you're cooking. So this next lantern here, the home and camp lantern. Now, this was one that I was kind of debating for quite some time actually because of the design of it. I wasn't 100% in love with it when I first saw it. I, I thought this kind of looked like plastic Tupperware and it just, it just didn't sit with me for quite a while. So you can actually rotate this one too so you can change it to more of like a lantern style hanging mode which I actually, I actually like this mode quite a bit and use it in this configuration a lot. And to turn it on, you have this really nice integrated button right here. You can press down and make it brighter. And I think the first time when I turned this on, then I started to appreciate it. It creates a really nice warm glow with the plastic down there. And it's a really nice light. I mean, it has really good battery life. It's actually very bright as well. So if you, if you crank this thing up, I mean, it puts out very decent light. I was surprised like as I held the button down how bright this thing actually goes um, inside the tent as well. Like it does a really good job of brightening things up in there. But this lantern right here, 
This one is actually being discontinued, so it didn't actually stick around that long. And it's kind of unfortunate because I actually really like it now that I have it and have used it for a while. But yeah, it looks like this one is on the last chance list. So yeah, maybe now is a good time to grab one with it being on sale. But they have some new lighting I know coming around the corner pretty soon. It's using USB type C on the back here. That's how you know it's a newer Snow Peak light right there. Um, so I do like that. And like I said, battery life has been great on this. Have the metal ring at the top here. Oh, and of course the, the home base. I mean, this is where this one lives. So, so this is the charging station for it. When I get home, I always just leave this one right here in the studio. And yeah, I mean, I thought the home and camp was a really cool lantern. Um, I've seen a lot of them out there since, and it's one that, that grew on me. And after using it for a while, I, I appreciate the design of it now and I like it, but yeah. It took some time. This one definitely took some time. And the last lantern that I got is the Celeste from Snow Peak. And you know what? This one might be, might be my favorite, my new favorite out of all my Snow Peak lights. And I'm gonna tell you why. I mean, there's a lot of really cool features built into this lantern right here. It's also a flashlight. So when we went to Campfield, um, I used this around the place as a flashlight at night, which was super handy. And if you press down on the button here, it will switch to the bottom light. So you have choices right there, but if that's not enough choices, you can actually press it again to get both lights on. So this lantern has a lot of, a lot of possibilities. So this is the case for the Celeste lantern, and it's actually a really nice fully zippered case nice waterproof feeling material. At the top, you have a little pouch up here if you wanna put your cables. It doesn't come with any cables at all. And like I said, it's USB-C, but if you have an extra one, you can either store it up top or you could store it in one of these little pouches down here. So this one holds the little carabiner. This one could hold a cable and you get Velcro strips to make sure the light stays in place, which is really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice, perfectly fitted case to the lantern. So definitely, Definitely like that they included this with it. So you can also use the Celeste with the TTA system or any tripod thread for that matter. This is the hook that I was just telling you about. It's a nice metal, solid feeling Snow Peak carabiner that clips right to the top of the lantern right here. So when you have it on this mode, you can retract it. It's a little retractable wire and you can hang this off of your pile drivers or your lantern hangers or just inside your tent and you can customize the height that you want, but yeah. Overall, I'm, I really like the Celeste and I think it might be, I think it might be a new favorite. All right, well, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video today. If you found this video at all helpful, if you could just go down there and hit the like button, it really does go a long way towards helping my channel grow. So thank you for that. We've also included links to all of the lighting that we talked about in this video in the description. So be sure to check that out as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.